Hey, what's going on folks? How are you guys doing? Welcome uh, welcome to the studio. I'm just about to head out actually. And I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride today. We've got something to work on. Yeah, it's something I probably should have done probably about three months ago, but with everything that's been going on in the world, it's been, uh, it's been delayed a little bit. So we're gonna take care of that today. And I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride. We got the RV we're gonna set up today. So come along, uh, we're gonna go to the garage. I gotta set up the truck. We gotta go bring out the RV and uh, we gotta get rid of all the antifreeze and stuff in it. So that's what's going on today. Let's go do this thing. All right guys, so first things first, I need to get the hitch in the truck, which is right here. Yeah, so we gotta get the hitch in the truck. I've got the hitch underneath all of this stuff. It's in the back, way back there. Now I've gotta move all these bikes out of the way, get in underneath and move that hitch. Now it's a fifth wheel hitch, so it's pretty heavy. Uh, it's, it's a fight with one person. I should probably get some help. We'll get in the back of the truck, we'll bolt her down. Uh, let me spin this truck around and then move everything out of here. This is gonna take me a bit, but we'll get her done. All right, not too bad. I got uh, the one bike right here parked beside me. I pulled it out and luckily, <laughs> luckily, look at this. I managed to get enough space in here that I can get the hitch out. Ah, that's good. So we'll drag this thing out. That's, um, this is this thing is so bloody heavy. All right, I got the hitch out. Uh, let's take a quick look down here. So this thing's gonna need some grease. You can see, yeah, it's all worn on the inside. Got to grease those hitches, guys. This is a roller hitch as well. So this one here gives me the ability to roll the hitch back and forth in the bed of the truck when I need to jackknife it. Essentially, since we are on a short box truck, this will allow me to jackknife it and to uh, miss the cab. Otherwise, I run the, the risk of putting the whole thing in the back of my truck, which I've done once before. I might, uh, I might advise not doing that. It's not good for your truck. It's not good for your trailer. So this is all good to go. I just need to put a grease on this. I got the pins to lock this down into the cab itself. So there's four pins that lock it down. The bigger problem, guys, is just lifting this bloody thing up. It's so heavy. I've got to lift this up into the box of the truck and uh, can you want to give me a hand? Somebody, please. Oh man, all right, we got it. Um, you know what, it's not even that it's heavy. It's just awkward. It's like, there's no easy spot to grab onto this thing and yank it up, because it's all grease up on top. And then the bottom's all, I mean, there's good grab holds down here, but it's just, you end up running into each other. It's, it's, not, it's not easy to grab onto. Oh, anyways, we've got uh, pins. I'm gonna go put this up. I got the rails in the back. You can see we're in the middle of the truck there. We got the rails. We'll, uh, we'll get back there, put it in place, put the pins in, and then we're off to the storage facility to go get the, uh, go get the trailer. I think I'm ready. Oh, I need batteries. Hmm, let's go get the batteries. All right guys, so as for, well, batteries. Now I, I do mess, I've missed this a couple of times where I've gone out after, uh, after the winter. It's not even winter anymore, it's not even close. We should be out like three times by now, but this is the first chance we've had to get out <laughs> in the trailer, so what do you do? Um, I forgot to bring the, the batteries with me, and if you forget to bring the batteries, guys, you can't bring the lightning gear up, and it's a bit of an issue. So I've got my two six volts right here. We got two of them. We run them in series, of course, so we get 12 volts, but they're basically golf cart batteries. These ones are out of Napa, I guess. Yeah, Napa deep cycle batteries. The batteries are good to go, so we're gonna throw them in the back of the truck. The hitch, you can see, is in the truck. It's good to go. Guys, I think um, I think we're good to go. All right, so we got the batteries in already. Uh, I'm out at the storage lot, which is just campers everywhere, as you can see. A lot of campers. Look at them all. We got the batteries loaded in. I think I got them on the right, right way. So we gotta make sure we put these in series and not parallel, of course, because that's a problem. So I've gotta go positive from the trailer, jump between the negative and positive, and then negative back to the trailer. Now I've got to switch a breaker that's in this cabinet right here. That should save me in case I screw something up, but I think that's all it should take. And I got my solar panels I got to hook up as well. I uh, will do that in a sec. That shouldn't take us too long. There is some jumpers off this little control panel right here. That's all that is. Okay, I think I got it. So, uh, like you can see here, go top. Black wires are positive coming in, goes to our negative. Our negative scooches over to their battery, which is the positive, and then the negative off this part of the battery goes to the trailer. So, should be one full loop around the trailer. I think we are good. Let's go turn this on and see if she works. I better put these boxes on as well. Make sure this is all set up. Sounds like we need some more propane as well. That sounds a little empty, guys. Ah. Okay, boxes on. Good enough. All right, moment of truth. Let's give her a flip and see what happens. Yeah. Switch is over. Let's see. Hey, we got power. Nice. Landing gear works. Let's hook it up to the truck. Let's get out of here. All right, trailer is back home. I think we are looking pretty good, guys. So uh, what I need to take care of is just really flushing the tanks. That's the, the big thing is I need to flush the water tanks on this. So I don't want to say cheap, 
but the trailer that this trailer this unit is a little bit on the the bare bones side where the water pump is located i have no way of accessing it really to, well i can get to it i just can't there's no lines that i can take off it so whenever i want to do antifreeze in the winter in order to uh well to fill the lines with antifreeze i need to go directly into the hot the the water the fresh water tank which is kind of crappy to be perfectly honest now i'm going to drain that out and try to flush it all out which takes several fills it's it's kind of ridiculous to be honest i fill it up like once and then uh it's just you get that taste that grimy i don't know plumbing antifreeze taste so I gotta flush that all out. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'll flush it probably three to four times. We'll fire the pump up and then flush the rest of the system while we're at it. So we've got our sinks, our bathroom, and we've got an outdoor shower in the back as well. Get that all flushed up with a pump and make sure we get as much of that, <laughs> that taste out of this thing as we can. Um, once we get that all done and flushed, I can hook up our hot water tank. Right down at the bottom there, you can see our hot water tank. In fact, you can see coolant in there right now but it bypasses. Once that's open again, guys, I can fire that up. I've already got the sacrificial rod inside there. That is a sacrificial rod that takes takes any rusting issues. Instead of uh, wrecking the tank, it just gets rid of the rod. And then once that's done, uh, we can tuck that over. I've got it all sealed up. It's ready to go. And we should be good as far as our plumbing goes. Now look at this. Wifey sauce has already got the bunk beds made for the kids. <laughs> nice. Uh, the bathroom's kind of back here. This is a massive slide. So this thing all slides out. What is it, three and a half, four feet? You can kind of see down there. It's, it's an absolutely massive slide. So there's a, the bed and a couch over here that can both be made in the beds, but this thing has to move on out. I gotta grease this up as well. There's uh, just rails and two motors that I, I like to grease up to keep it quiet. We'll do that later on. And then we got, well, up at the front, our bed's on the way to the top. And it's all set up as well, nice. Yeah, I think everything is, is looking pretty good up here. Oh. Oh, look at that. Nice. So I got some cleaning. Look at up top. Eef. Just probably clean up top there as well. Anyways, things are coming together, guys. Um, oh, I do have one thing I need to fix still. Yeah, I noticed something was damaged at the storage lot. So we do keep the, the storage lot. You guys saw the lot. It's kind of like a grassy, it's soft, it's mucky right now because of the rain we've been getting. And it kind of damaged something. So that there is the landing gear. So that goes down and touches the ground. You can see it's supposed to be flat. And that's... Well, she's kind of bent up, guys. It's kind of bent up. Yeah, that's not, not good. Now, while I say it's not good, it's not that big of a deal either. Um, yeah, that's whatever. It is what it is. I'll just get a replacement. It's easy to bolt that in and take it out. So not the end of the world there. Cool. So I'll go down to the RV shop, get that taken care of. But the rest, guys, I think, I think we're looking pretty good here. Um, I need to test the AC. I need to test the fridge, uh, the heater. What else? I think I got everything. But the rest of it really should only be uh, a couple minutes here, a couple minutes there. Oh, hang on a second. Well, we can't get ready to camp without the, the camping hat, right? Make sure I get this on straight. There we go. Nice. Now we're ready. Look at that. Man, I look good. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Slap that like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. And uh, yeah, folks, I'll catch you guys next time. And members, you're probably going to get this video a bit early. So thank you, members. And other than that, guys, I will check you out later on. All right, have a good one, guys.